Hello, Peter Pereira, editor of Tekarazi.com, and today we're going to review the new Simple Touch Reader, the new Barnes & Noble Nook Touch. So here's what the packaging looks like. I won't bother you too much with this. And let's get right down to the reader. And here it is. Um, great little device. Um, it's got the brand new 6-inch Pearl screen uh, with an 800 by 600 resolution, uh, of which Barnes & Noble claims is got 80% less flashing and 50% more contrast than the original which we have right here and you can you can see right away that the contrast is quite a bit better um, it is running Android 2.1 this was running Android 1.6 I believe um, it's also got a micro SD slot that you can see here uh, the power button is in the back, which is quite a bit different than the top power button. So at first, you find yourself hitting the button down this way. Well, actually, you got to hit it that way. And once you hit the button, um, you will find that it has a lock screen mechanism right here. So you just swipe your finger across, and there you go. Um, it's it's quite light. I mean, it's at it's seven seven point five ounces or so, um, as opposed to this guy, which is quite a bit bigger. Now, obviously, the dimensions are quite a bit smaller than the original Nook. Um, thinness is actually just slightly thinner. It's hard to it's hard to see. Uh, about the same width. The big difference, of course, is it's missing this guy, which is the bottom LCD screen. Um, hold on, don't want to purchase any books by accident now, do we? Okay, let's go back to the home screen. I'm going to turn this guy on, and you can you can start seeing the big differences. Um, so this is what's known as the home screen, which didn't exist previously. What we had was the daily, which is basically was a set of tips and some sections of, of reading that Barnes & Noble would update, not very frequently I might add, whenever they kind of felt like. Um, the, the way that the library is shown on the new device is quite nice, um, but it's that's probably the one feature that some people are going to miss, which is the show covers. So here's our covers now, and then if you scroll forward or backward, you can see what books you have in your collection. Okay, so on this one, the original, as you know, uh, you'd hit this little capacitive button here, which was quite unresponsive at times, but you could just uh, go back and forth and, and find whatever books you wanted to read in, in this direction. So let's, let's pick a book here so we can compare it. Uh, let's go to the main page, let's go to the cover and let's select the same book here let's see if I can find it here we are and the process of getting to the cover is you hit the little N button uh, well actually no sorry you hit the screen anywhere then you select go to and here we are so Again, the contrast is the first thing that strikes you. Um, it's quite a bit better on the new Nook. Um, the, the, the screen is not capacitive. It's got an infrared system. Um, and it's really quite responsive. As a matter of fact, you can just keep on going this way and it's almost one-to-one -one ratio where you're really not waiting for the page to load any longer than you can swipe your finger across. Now with that said, um, the original Nook um, had an, a big update uh, that came out quite a few months after the device was originally released. And you can see that, let me just bring it up to a page here. All right, I'm gonna, these buttons on the new Nook can be configured to go forward or backward in this case, or you can flip them upside down and this would be forward and backward. So let me hit the, the at, at the same time, let me hit them to see it's supposed to be 80% faster and you can tell it's a little bit faster but you have to admit that on the original Nook they did quite an exceptional job getting what was a distract you know quite a distracting page flip 
to be, well, look, it's almost as fast as the new one, really. The only thing you can't do is go like this. And you can see that the other one is still going. So, great little device. Um, turns out that you can actually browse the web. Uh, but before we do that, the big, the big difference with the home screen is this is uh, some new material that has been released uh, in the ebook uh, format. Now, this is what you're working on now, wh whatever book you're reading, and this is some recommendations uh, relative to some of the things that you've read in the past. So if you'd like to go back to what you're reading, it's, it's that simple. I mean, it's a real friendly uh, reading device, and, and that's really what it's made for, and, and not much else, which is, which is fine for most people. Um, now, the other thing is, it turns out you can browse the internet on, on, on this new Nook as well, uh, what you could do with the previous Nook, of course, um, you just click search, enter the address that you want to check out. And I'm going to put tekarazzi.com here. And you click go. And look, it's, um, it's actually there. If you hold it down, you can uh, find on the page settings, whatever, whatever the case might be, or the page info. So if I click on this, it'll refresh the page again. Um, it's really quite, you know, it's quite interesting that uh, even though Barnes and Noble is not acknowledging the fact that it has a browser, it's it's most definitely there, and it's just a matter of time before obviously the device is opened up some more. Um, to where uh, some other functions are, are most surely going to be accessible as, as is, is the case what happened with the Nook Color. So, great device, uh, very light, uh, very portable. Uh, let's see, relative to an iPhone, uh, here you go. So here's an iPhone. Okay. Let's see, relative to... Let's see, an, an HTC flyer, for instance, you can see the difference. But the HTC flyer comfortably fits in a pocket. And so I, I, the, the new Nook, uh, same, same, same thing, it'll fit easily into your jacket pocket or even your jeans pocket, back pocket. Not that you'd want to do that. But um, great little device and um, there you go.